Me and August did a vacuum can. And the purpose was to find the exit velocity and how long the vacuum pump runs. Um, the hypothesis was the longer the pump runs, the further the projectile. Loud? Cool. All right. The longer the pump runs, the further the projectile will go, and the exit velocity versus the time graph will approach the upper value. So the farther or the longer it runs, the farther the ball will go. Um, so I don't have the vacuum can with me. It's in the locker room. And, but it basically was just a PVC pipe with a little, uh, what was it called? It had, it had a thing that you connect to a pump that Mr. Lockus had, and it just sucked the air out of it, creating a vacuum inside the, the PVC pipe, and we'd knock off one end and it would launch the ball out. Um, so we tried to create our own like vacuum pump out of a bicycle pump, and that does not work very well unless you have probably a good amount of money and do a lot of research. So the experimental procedure would be a lot would have been a lot longer if we had created that pump, which we tried to, but it failed. And so this is a procedure that we used with the electric pump. You just connect the pump to the PVC pipe, turn on the pump, uh, put covers on both ends, and then you remove one end and it shoots out the other end. You can click activate. <coughs> Is this a YouTube video? Yeah. That I'll be showing on YouTube? Yeah. That'll be really fun. <laughs> Sometimes it opens a new window or something. Oh, okay. Can you search for it on YouTube? Would you know how to find it? Live YouTube searching yeah. to be put on YouTube. Where did this one be? No. Can't do anything without your consent, Irene. No, that's great. <laughs> Did you call it an Indie Lab vacuum pump? I don't know what he called it. Oh, it's August then. Yeah. Okay. If you want, after everyone's done, I can go grab it and bring it up. Okay, yeah. All right. So this is our data. It looks really nice, kind of. And this is our graph. It's very small. So we, had, uh, we did three runs at 20 seconds, three runs at 40 seconds, and three runs at a minute. And then we had one at five minutes, which did not do what we would want it to do, which was launch a lot farther. And our error was, it was pretty bad because it's really hard to tear the thing off consistently to create it and to create a perfect vacuum. And um, the, we didn't know if the pump ran perfectly and uh, it was, it was, it, the whole table rocked. It was not, it wasn't super good. It wasn't as good as we wanted it to. Um, but our data did show that for the most part, the farther, or the longer you run the pump, the farther the ball will go. Um, the, yeah, we would need to do a lot more. We, we really procrastinated a lot on this. And I would want to do it a lot better, and like actually find like a ball that fits perfectly. The tennis ball kind of would roll around, so when we would rip it off, sometimes it would just kind of slowly come out, and that's not what we would want it to do. We'd want it to actually like shoot out. There's a lot of good videos on YouTube of them where they actually like break milk cartons. They're that good, and that's what I would want to do. And I wish I could show the video. <laughs> Sorry. Well, thank you, Vicky. Are there any questions for me? Cool. Thank you.